In other news tonight, new at 11, a uh, story here that uh, would upset any parent. A Montgomery County Middle School teacher is in big trouble with police tonight after uh, he allegedly sexually touched at least three students during the school day. 30-year-old Benjamin Keno is a teacher at Mario Loiterman Middle School in Silver Spring. Robert Lyles is live outside that school tonight with a look at why investigators are now asking for your help tonight. Robert. Well, Leon Lorderman Middle School just celebrated graduation a couple of hours ago, but three students are not celebrating tonight. In fact, three girls, none of them over the age of 12. They have told police they spent most of this this school year being inappropriately touched by their own teacher. What did Lorderman get to? Like, how, why did it get messed up like that? Reaction after sixth grade science teacher Ben Kano was arrested on six separate counts of sex abuse and sex offenses on minors. And police say it all happened inside Lorderman Middle School walls. Who wants a child to have a teacher that abuse kids? Kano's accusers, just 11 years old, two sixth grade girls who told detectives the inappropriate touching went on for months. These incidents occurred between August 2012 and May of 2013. Both girls then led police to a third alleged victim, just 12 years old. It scared me too because, you know, one of these girls can be my child and I don't like that. At Kano's Edgewater home, a woman answering the door was tight-lipped about the science teacher just two years on the job. We are not discussing anything right now. Police will not disclose Kano's alleged acts, but will say. Potentially, there may be other victims who were also in school with these students. I guess how come they're going to hire someone and they don't know their background? I don't think so. Lorderman's principal sent this letter to parents writing, we are deeply disturbed by these allegations and concerned for the well-being of students involved in these cases. Now, Lorderman's principal goes on to say that counselors will be available starting tomorrow morning for the students here. Meanwhile, police are asking parents to talk to your child, and if you believe that your child may have been victimized, they want to talk with you. Live in Silver Spring, I'm Robert Lyles, ABC 7 News.